What's up guys? This is Teddy X Guitar with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to do overlays and Twitch and stream when you're streaming directly from your console. So today uh go ahead and go to your creator dashboard. Go over to go down to extensions and you are going to have to search for overlay expert and it's going to look like this you click on that click configure and this is going to show you like i've got my two overlays down here that i have used but you've also got you've got paid versions of overlays animated that you can use so ba essentially they try and make this look like obs uh, but if you like me don't want to pay for it right now they do have free ones orange carbon overwatch blueprint rocket rumble green damask uh, so let's let's choose a blueprint and if you want to make it your own, let's customize it. So you, it's going to bring you to this screen. You're going to click Customize again. And make sure you are signed into your account up here as well. Um, if You should be, but if you're not, make sure you sign in. Um, so let's zoom in a little bit. So with this, um, you can uh, click on what each one is, and it'll tell you, it'll highlight that one. So for instance, that was the bottom right. You can add uh, text, but um, let's add text. Um, let's just say, you want to add your Twitter, your Twitch handle right here. So delete the new content item. You're going to go down to this little symbol with handle and click that. You can change the color under right here. So you can make it whatever color you want. If you've got a color code, um, you can put it in right there as well. Uh, but let's say you want to make it green. Okay, that, well, that's not a good color. Let's say yellow. Okay, yellow. All right, you can change the thickness and the boldness of that. You can change the font size. So let's say we want to make it 60. We want a real big in the middle. Okay. So with this one, okay, so you can move it. You can either move the whole box. Well, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Let me fix that. Uh -huh. tried to fix it but I forgot it doesn't there is no undo button in this um, as you can see there is no undo button so um, you can So, for instance, you can do that. I think it needs 110. There we go. So, you can center it up. Um, let's say you want to raise it up some. So, let's put it 30. That looks pretty good. Um, you can click that to save it and make sure that it doesn't get messed up. Um, so, let's add a new layer. 
Um, when you add a new layer, it's going to pop up. This is where it pops up every single time. Um, we are going to add an alert though this time, just so I can show you how to do that. So let's say you want to put a GIF as the alert. So you click the select button. I've already got some uploaded, some GIFs and pictures and whatnot uploaded. So let's say you want to upload one. You just click this button. Boom. Uh, uh, let's say I want to upload my profile picture. So there's that. But let's click the new follower one and select it. Okay. We've got that selected. And now we're going to uh, just scroll down. So it cannot be any smaller than the whole of the GIF itself. You can, however, change the dimension. Okay, so now you go down and select alert and you change auto show uh, always shown to event based and then it'll ask what's the event. Okay, so you want to this one's for a new follower. So Twitch follow. You can choose a sound. Let's say I don't have any sounds uploaded, but you can either upload your own short sound or you can listen to them. You can listen to them and choose from the public one. Let's say I want to do that one. Just to make it easy. Y'all ain't watching a 30 minute video or trying to keep it as short as possible. So you can also choose how it enters. And exits. Let's say I want it to look like that. So when it exits, it exits like that and it puffs in. We can also go back down to content. You can, if you want, don't want text at all and you just want the GIF, you can just delete it. That'll also give you, should give you the option to close that in a little more. Um, so yeah, once you click the check mark, it's going to disappear. That's fine. So let's say you want that in, to appear right there in your stream. Whenever somebody follows you, let's center it up a little more because I'm OCD. And now check mark, it's gone. It's still there, but it, but it it's not there permanent. It's not there all the time. So let's zoom back in. Y'all can see. So let's add one more new layer. And we want to add a, let's say you want to add your logo. Um, or no, I'll do something different. Let's add, uh, let's add some, handles so you can add different handles add your twitch twitter facebook google and steam handles you've also got the ability to do celebrations you can recent follows let's say recent follows so then it'll show who your most recent followers are. You can line that up like that, make it look real nice, make it look cool. And that's the simplest matter of it. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. If you have any more questions, um, you want more specialized um, answers and uh, more specialized tutorial 
be sure to like, comment, subscribe, um, and comment what you want, what you're looking for help with. Um, so anyway, until next time, y'all, God bless. Peace out.